Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're gonna take a look at how to keep things compliant within our Azure account with Azure Policy. So let's make our way over to the Azure Policy portal by typing policy at the top here. And right away, you can see already that I have a policy assigned. I didn't sign this, Azure did this for me by default, and it's a great way to start understanding how this is useful. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click into that one there. And this is an initiative uh, policy, meaning that it's made up of a bunch of policies. We'll go over that over in a moment. But you can see here that it's saying, hey, you should turn on all these things. They're not turned on by default, so you should turn them on. And these are ones that you have not turned on. You might not wanna consider turning some of these on uh, if you have to consider costs, but I think most of these are free. Um, but that's something that you'll have to decide on your own. Uh, but that gives you a general idea there. So let's go back to policy at the top. On the left-hand side here, we can see our assignments. And here I have that initiative type there. If I click into it, it allows me to edit it there. Uh, and what's really nice is if I want to disable it, I could just disable it. Uh, but I think this is a default one. So, oh no, I can disable it. Okay, great. And you can see it was assigned by who. Uh, and then you can also uh, take remediation actions uh, here. So by default, this assignment will only take effect on newly created uh, resources. Existing resources can be updated via a remediation task after the policy is assigned. So if you need this applied to uh, ones that are created or, or uh, prior uh, or updated, that's something you might want to do. But anyway, we'll get out of there and we'll go take a look at all the big list of predefined uh, definitions uh, that Azure gives us. So this is a great way for us to get started. Um, you'll notice on the right hand side, we have initiative and we have policy. Again, initiative is a collection of policies down below and these are individual ones. But let's just go take a look at some uh, policies and maybe we can go apply one to like a virtual machine. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just drop down um, uh, this here and we can just unselect here and let's just go take a look. Do we have one called virtual machines? Not really, um, but we, we can go for compute here. And we can just take a look here. So uh, audit virtual machine without disaster recovery. Let's take a look at that one. And I just wanna see the full description here. Audit virtual machine without disaster recovery configured. I think that sounds really good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and assign that. And we can choose a scope. And so I'm gonna choose my subscription here, and then we can choose a resource group. And you're gonna notice that I don't actually have any resources so uh, to scope that within. So what we'll go do is launch ourselves a virtual machine. So make our way over to the virtual machine um, a portal here. We'll add a virtual machine. And I want something really cheap. And so here it's set to a more expensive one because I was launching a Windows server uh, previously, but I want the cheapest server I can get. Actually, before I do that, I'm just gonna go back and, oh yeah, it's on Ubuntu, just making sure. And the one I had that was really cheap is the B1LS. And so I'm just gonna go up here to the top. We'll name this Bajor. And uh, we'll put it in the Bajor group there. Uh, this size does not support Azure Spot. That's totally fine. I don't need Spot. Did I turn that on by accident? Oh, I did. And this all looks fine to me. I'm not gonna be logging into this machine. We just want to launch it up as an example. I'm gonna to move to standard SSD because I don't need premium here. And this looks fine to me. We'll go ahead and hit review and create. So uh, we'll go ahead and create that. And I guess we have to download that private key. Probably a good idea. We're not gonna use it for anything, but that's okay. And now that it's deploying, let's see if we can select the scope as it's creating. I'm not sure if it'll let us do that. I'm just gonna hit cancel here and reopen here. And let's see if it shows up now. It doesn't. So uh, we'll just wait a moment here. Uh, I'll go back to my policy here. And I'm just gonna wait for this server to create. And once that is created, um, what we'll do is we'll just come back here and see if we can now scope that. All right, so after a short little wait, um, our server is ready here. So let's make our way back to our policy here. And uh, well, I guess I lost it. So we'll have to go back to definitions. And we'll drop down categories, deselect, we'll go to compute. And we'll go ahead and uh, click on disaster recovery again. Here you can see the policy in its entirety. So that's kind of nice. Uh, and we'll go ahead and assign that and we'll choose our scope. So we'll go back here to subscription one. Now we should have Bajor and I'll go ahead and hit select. Uh, we can assign exclusions, not something I'm gonna do today. Um, there is the name of it, that's totally fine. Then we can hit enabled and I'm the one who's enabling it. So that sounds like a good idea. 
We'll go next. Uh, we're going to leave remedi remediation off. We don't need to do that today. We'll hit create. Uh, and so now this policy is assigned. It says here, please note that the assignment takes around 30 minutes to take effect. So if we work our way back here and look at assignments. Um, I don't see it here yet. So there it is. And um, it's probably not going to show us on there. So we'll go back to our overview. And so I want to see it hasn't started yet. So we'll just wait for a while here. Might take 30 minutes, might take 10, not sure. And we'll just see what happens. This should show up as non-compliant, but let's see that actually happen. All right, so after waiting a little while here, I think it was about 15, 20 minutes, we can now see that it's saying that it's non-compliant. So we'll go ahead and click into there. And we can see what exactly it is complaining about. Let me click over to that resource. So there you go, it's not too uh, complicated there. Uh, we'll go ahead and just uh, delete that assignment. And uh, if you're wondering where blueprints are, they're all the way over here. We talked about blueprints in the actual course, not something we actually have to do for the AZ-104, but because it is probably a better way of uh, doing things, I just wanted to point that out uh, to you. Um, but yeah, there you go. So it's as simple as that.